I'm sure you have experienced situations when there wasn't enough light while you were shooting. When you're shooting in low light, you think everything looks so good, but I can imagine the pain when you get home and see all that noise in all of your footages. So due to the fact that I shoot a lot of events and concerts, I have a lot of experience with this situation. So today we are going to talk about how to color grade a low light image and how to actually make your low light footage looking better. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've got this clip, uh, a woman dancing in a club. It's a really low light scene and I don't know if you can see from the YouTube compression, but it's a very, very noisy image. It's very visible in the background. It's visible in the dark areas. We need to fix that in a moment. Let's find our hero shot. I think this is okay. Now I will start adding my notes. Let's create four or five notes. The first note is going to be noise reduction. The fifth note is for our color space transform. The second note is my balance. The third note is contrast and the fourth note will be for the saturation. Actually, I'll create another note here. Let's call it look. Just in case, if I want to add any effects, I will create another note at the end. As always, I start with adding the color space transform to convert the footage to Rec. 709. Input color space is Sony S Gamma 3 Cine. Input gamma is S Log 3. Output color space is Rec. 709. And output gamma is Gamma 2.4. Okay, that looks good already. I shot this footage with Sony A7S 3 and S7S3 has dual native ISO. ISO was probably at 12,800. If I hadn't shot it that way, you wouldn't have seen anything because there's really very little light in the scene. So my advice to you is if you work in a lot of low light situations, get a camera that is suitable for this. That's another important detail to keep in mind. Okay, let's move on. After the color space transform, I'll go into noise reduction. Click on motion effects, go into special noise reduction. First, I will change the mode from faster to better and I will change the radius to medium and I will increase the threshold. I'm also looking at my scopes. There is a limit for this noise reduction effect. After you pass that limit, it doesn't affect the footage anymore. This is before, this is after. We can kind of see it a little bit better in the background. This is before, this is after. Yeah, it cleans up very nicely. Now I will go into temporal noise reduction, select frame one, then increase it just around here. Also, let's blend it just a bit. This is before, this is after. Okay, actually noise reduction tools in DaVinci Resolve works really great, but these are really heavy effects that it may put some strain on your computer. So keep that in mind when you are using this tool. Now that we cleaned our image, I'll go into my balance node. I'll use gain, gamma and lift sliders just to give a more natural look to our image. This is before, this is after. I just increased the exposure slightly. Now we can move on to our contrast node. I will use a different approach this time. Go into HDR wheels, click on these three dots here. I'll choose the correct color space. It's Sony S Gamma 3 Cine for me. And then for the Gamma S Log 3. Now we can increase the contrast on the HDR panel. After that, I will adjust the contrast with the pivot tool. This will give you much more flexibility for your contrast settings. This is before, this is after. As you can see, it gives a better roll off to darker parts of the image. I will also disable the balance node. We will be able to see the effect much better. This gives a much better roll off into the black on the background. Our footage is actually looking a lot better. It is dark, it's a really low light, but it doesn't bother you because it's clean. Okay, let's move on to our saturation node. On the HDR panel, I will actually just increase the global saturation. We don't really have that much of a color. Even now it looks too grungy, so I don't want to put more saturation in it. This is before, this is after. Let's just keep it like this for now. Let's move on to our look node. Even though we only have a deep blue color, we can still create a look for this shot. So I will go into my primaries and then I will 
use my offsets. Let's push it down and pull our gamma up into the red zone. I'm just trying to find a good spot for my blacks. Okay, now we have kind of greenish tint in the black. So we can counter that by going into log and push some magenta into the shadows. This is before, this is after. Yeah, we are getting a somewhat better look actually. But it feels a bit more darker. So I will go into my balance and just lift it up just a bit. Yeah, let's take the edge off, push down again. This is before, this is after, yes. We can actually do one more thing. She has this orange glasses that is glowing. We can push that color because that's the only color we have besides deep blue. Let's go into curves and select hue versus saturation. I will select the yellow color and with the input hue slider, slide it towards orange and let's give it a saturation. This is before, this is after. It's looking a lot more punchier now. Okay, as a last step, we can use glow effect to give it a bit more dreamy and softer look. Let's drop the glow. I will decrease the shine threshold. I will change the composite type to soft light. I will decrease the opacity and blend it. I want to increase that softer look a bit more. Okay, and that's it. This is actually looking pretty good. So let's look at it from the beginning. Let's clean up our workspace. First, I added the CST and then I applied the noise reduction. Then I went into my balance and adjusted the exposure slightly. Then I added my contrast with the HDR tools. Then I increased the saturation and then I created a look. Then I gave it a glow effect. And this is our final footage. This is a really, really, really low light scene and it's actually hard to create a look or get a good result from a low light footage. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, I hope you like this. And if you try this method, please make sure to drop a comment in the comment section. If you know a better way to color grade a low light footage, please share that with me. I will be really happy to get your feedback. And thank you for watching. Until the next video, take care.